Hey, Shalom is real. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled, Don't Be Comfortable in Babylon. Do not be comfortable in Babylon. All right. And um, I want to start off by getting Numbers 32. And I'm going to start from the top, reading all the way down to the 13th verse. Lord willing. Now the children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of cattle. And when they saw the land of Jazer and the land of Gilead, that behold, the place was a place for cattle. The children of Gad and the children of Reuben came and spake unto Moses and to Eleazar the priest and unto the princes of the congregation, saying, Ataroth and Dibon. And Jazer and Nimrah and Heshbon and Elila and Shabam and Nebo and Beon, even the country which Yahweh smote before the congregation of Israel, is a land for cattle, and thy servants have cattle. <laughs> Wherefore, said they, if we have found grace in thy sight, let this land be given unto thy servants for a possession, for a possession, and bring us not over Jordan. All right, and, and this is how people feel today, man. Our people, you know, have been the script. Uh, uh, <clears throat> the apostle Apostle Hari says our people been in, in in Babylon too long, man. They feel comfortable here, man. You know, and it says bring us not over Jordan. You know, our people feel comfortable here, man. They don't feel like they have to follow the Lord, man. They feel like they made it here, man. You know, and, and and that's contrary to the Heavenly Father, man. The reason why the Most High have put us in this predicament is because we have fallen away from Him, man. You know? You know, this place is a place of hell, man. This The scriptures say, you can get that, Micah 2 and 10. Alright? It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with their sword destruction. So you can't feel like this is your rest, man. Alright? You can't feel like you can't feel like you know you made it here, man. You know, you you know, like like now, you know, close to the end of the year, Jake probably getting overtime. This, that, and the third. Alright, they feel like they made it here, man. But on the contrary. Alright? And it says, and bring uh, bring us not over Jordan. And Moses said unto the children of Gad and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brethren go to war, and shall ye sit here? Alright, because, you know, us men in the spirit, we going to war. How we going to war, man? Alright, we going to war uh, with spiritual demons Satan, as well as physical demons Satan, man. Which being a so-called white man. All right, we the one out there on the highways and hedges, man. Casting this place down uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And shall ye sit here? All right. And it's going off for them so-called Christians, man. All right. The most are going to kill your ass, man. All right. Here it is. We going out to war. And your ass just sitting around talking shit. Feeling comfortable here, man. All right. And let's see what the most are did to those guys, man. And wherefore discovered ye the heart of the children of Israel from going over into the land which Yahweh had given them. Alright. Most High is coming back. And this he, he's coming back to bring the kingdom, man. Whether you believe it or not. Alright. And his words are true. What's the scriptures say? The kingdom of the Most High dwelleth in us, man. Alright. Yahweh said that to Yahweh shot, um, Hear ye him. This is my son in whom I am well pleased, man. The Most High Yahweh shot is with um, great millstone, all right. The apostles and elders on down, man. We have the truth, all right. It says, Thus did your fathers when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to see the land. For when they went up into the valley of Eshko and saw the land, and if I could add, man, you know, getting into the kingdom is going to be a rough fight, you know, for the brethren that's already fighting, and for those, you know, looking and inquiring about fighting, man. Getting into the kingdom is going to be a rough fight. You're not just going to, um, 
you know, receive it, the most I'm going to see what you're made of, man. All right? You got to continue to be in the spirit. You got to continue to pray fast if you have to. You know? It says, Thus did your fathers when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to see the land. But when they went up to the valley of Eshkol and saw this land, they discouraged the heart of the children of Israel that they should not go into the land which Yahweh had given them. And Yahweh's anger, anger was kindled the same time, and he swore, saying, Surely none of the men that came up out of Egypt from twenty years old and upward shall see the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, because they have not wholly followed me. Alright, so God's like that, you Christians, you people, all you two-thirds, man. Two-thirds, alright, is it the uh, ones appointed to death, the ones going to take the chip. Alright, because you take that chip, that means you, you, you uh, feel relaxed here, man. This was your strength. You felt like this place was going to go on forever. Alright, it says, because they have not wholly followed me. Save Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and that's why we, um... Doing videos, man, showing the most hot what that we wholly following him, man. We 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 want him to come back, man. All right. It says, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, and Joshua the son of Nun, for they have wholly followed Yahweh. And Yahweh's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years. Until all the generation that had done evil on the sight of Yahweh was consumed. And behold, ye are risen up in your father's steed an increase of sinful men to augment yet the fierce anger of Yahweh towards Israel. For if you turn away from after him, he will yet again leave them in the wilderness, and ye shall destroy all his people, all this people. And they came near unto him and said, we will build sheepfolds here for our cattle and cities for our little ones. But we ourselves will go ready armed before the children of Israel until we have brought them 